Hey guys, level two here. All right, um, what we're gonna do is <coughs> more or less a system analysis and a plan how to actually achieve the top step trader program, the micros, which is the 10k account micros. So, should you be trading the micro accounts? One is a question. Two, who this probably most suited to? Uh, guys who we have some not trading experience but have been sim for a while we want to actually get the feel of like trading on the micros and make some money just to pay for your time in the meantime as you more or less build some confidence in this system all right so first thing first what is the <coughs> micro e-mini smps yeah, i just to make sure that the micro is a uh, one tenth of uh, e-mini which is costing wise also the micros would be five dollars per point which is one point one twenty five per tick so you will see five dollars instead of twelve fifty <coughs> I mean five dollars instead of fifty dollars which is represents one tenth of it outright and next point ticks would be 1.5 on it so that is the specification for the contract so we look at margins and this will be important coming down to the end the maintenance margin is 630 dollars you can see the reasonable amount of volume right now for the since it opened six months ago volume has been steadily in line with the ES haven't seen slips any major slips the market is quite tight which is a one tick the two tick spread maximum most of the times haven't seen any big variation in it liquidity is pretty good 25% of the ES is enough to actually build liquidity so what we exactly do is study the minis and execute on the micros so you would see let's go to top step now so if you could if you're looking for this i'll put a link to this in the description this is the cme group which actually is the market provider for micros minis should know that so you have margin contract specification time sales and the calendar <coughs> so you could see your micros on clearing and stuff on that side so I'll put a link on system so this is the combine so the micro trading combine is a 10k account with your target of fifteen hundred dollars your maximum position size is five micro loss weekly loss limit max drawdown and this will be important on your max drawdown this is not a trailer max drawdown so what we will be doing is <coughs> a comparison between this and the full size e-mini um, combined so when your question is around ten dollars a month so what we have here is an excel sheet built out we need to more or less put that in should always have one of this which is a trade plan a trade plan or a workflow for the day what you're looking at what is your risk and how you build your risk should have that should also have this a trade log it may be important because that i love manually trade log this is my personal deviation stuff we'll go through some of that on what it is <coughs> oh, why well, i why is actually used so all right so this is the heading is the micro combine comparison really so you have a 50k account 10k com 50k combine 10k combine and our personal rules so the reason i'm doing this is more or less i yourself for on monday morning uh, we have two new guys coming in into the room here not room uh have trading for two guys who are a bit new to trading and i'll be fun and 
there are two accounts on the open market micro accounts which is a great opportunity to learn in live trading so i wouldn't put them straight in there they would have to go through two weeks of more or less formal stuff that we just have to go through i just have to go through with a lot of guys i like my face to face stuff meaning that those guys uh would be in your office here that's why i was online because you were prepping the other side of the office for them to come in So let's get to this all right so you will have let's go to the 50k combined with everybody should or be custom to which is this is the most popular account i think top sectors actually provide and combine with so all right so this is the 50k account the profit target is three thousand dollars 50k account profit target is three thousand dollars maximum contract is five the daily loss limit is one thousand dollars <coughs> The weekly loss limit is a thousand dollars also. And your maximum trailing drawdown is two thousand dollars. Trailing maximum drawdown is two thousand dollars. Right. So that is a 50k account and note this, this is a trailing maximum drawdown. Right, so right, so let's compare it to 10k micros. The profit the starting balance is 10k. Yes, here. Target is fifteen hundred dollars. Contract is five also. So you're doing more or less a like for like contract wise. You don't have a daily loss limit, which is important. Which is green. Because you have a daily loss limit here. A weekly loss limit is five hundred dollars. And your maximum drawdown is a thousand dollars. Now note that I had some communication with top step. I don't know if it is. Alright, so what is the weekly loss limit? Up um a link to what is the maximum drawdown? Alright, so this is important. In the micro sharing you can hold trades at any time and overnight. So you can trade through news, um, not through all news, um, the same rules apply over the weekend and all economic releases. So you can trade through the actual news, which is anything, anytime, so I trade the ES alone. So that's what profit you can trade and this is the maximum drawdown stuff. So so the combine is the drawdown is one thousand dollars. This is not a trailing stop, so this need to be noted. That is a next green in the tick box. So our next tick from the starting balance. So you have your limit from ten thousand to nine thousand. So you have to have a thousand without it being trailing. And it's the same steps here. I don't worry about that. What are commissions and fees, right? So the commissions and fees is sixty percent per side, which is one twenty per trade, which so happens to be close to one tick. Go figures. <laughs> normally there is normally close to that. They just may they not making a lot of profit off of that, trust me. So between them and um whoever you're trading with yeah 
yeah, they are not seeing more or less anything of that. So it's important to know if you have a forest combine if you can get um next come by. Um a few days come by. So with you is so you can see GTCs. These are talk about you will hear me basically in live stream you see good the close because it helps my my trading. So uh, with with the execution and stuff. But and same steps rules and butter micros and stuff. So we have be the base of what we're looking for right here and what now. So we have that so personal rules now now we need to build personal rules so what is my weekly loss limit 500 which is 50 percent of <coughs> my starting balance so you would see this remain the same this remains the same this now changes though my terms you would see no, no more than four active contracts at any time have daily loss limit which is <coughs> one six zero in my case I have a set daily loss limit weekly loss limit of four eight zero do not break the people rules you will be <laughs> punished and drawdown applies right so a note so I have notes here put in for that what is the actual amount that are free getting from top step what is my actual leverage I need to calculate so cost and wise comparable because um, 165 is per month and 110 so yeah when I have a cheaper way to actually get some experience in the market and money is not everything is this whole story about the tortoise and the hair go slow learn the trade then trade because I did not have the opportunity to trade micros when I now started so because micros only came out six months now a lot of us were begging and crying for this particular <coughs> instrument to be introduced because the cost and how the leverage was I trade open market I don't have to trade top step or have any connection with top step as of now so I asked a couple important question I hope top step don't get back <laughs> with me for this right so I was asking about promotions if they have any promotions or discounts or, um, so they say if they run anything in the future discount wise so we have a Christmas discount or any year discount or even uh, any discount that you can find online 20% or 10% would be valuable to you right so there is a pro account meaning that I don't want to actually pay for a feed well, we don't want to pay for anything that we don't really necessarily need for this particular account as uh, this is more or less a sim trading account that actually trading in you not, not doing this for for making an income or just using this to train yourself as your second step in your training process so $2,500 is the target and if you need any information you can go to top step and ask them I yeah, could only fund one account so we have a couple of guys working together so it will be under their names I'll just give them your money later put it in credit card how <laughs> tight so right so for top step we wouldn't be doing that I just run a search on who do some reviews that so all right so now we know we have our basic set of rules we need to follow what I personally looking for to achieve it is efficient use of capital that's the first thing you need to learn what is the efficient use of capital so efficient use of capital is having most bank payback being as safe as possible. So first thing I need to consider is 
of course it's 155 for this my risk of ruin which I have calculated is a lot more here than here so using the rules that I even have for a 50k account using the smallest amount trying to mitigate risk and using it so this is why the 10k is very important and then if you achieve 2500 you could use 1500 or all for that money and do the maximum 150k account so you will have money in your pocket after you do that of course you have about 1500 for the most check it out 375 by 3 plus the 125 500 a month by 3 months to have some money off for that so it's a stepping stone so alright, this is what we have here now. So we have a profit tag, a 1500-500 weekly loss limit, and a drawdown of a thousand dollars. Again, it is not a trailing max drawdown. So how we have it built is profit target remain to sell four contracts. Now, when we're looking at four contracts, active trading contracts, we'll take. The simplest example because I don't want to complicate this too much for guys who not here well, not too versed in how I trade if you look at any uh my live trading videos you would see some stuff where I implement some strategies. Well it's not all about how much risk you're taking, it's about where you're trading risk and how much risk you could actually take so all right how are we actually doing this is building that trade and active trade where i have one not it's not active it is a working order set so i set working orders i don't like the pull live market triggers i have this fomo that i have really really struggled with Trading meaning so I don't actually set working orders as you know if you watch today live stream eh, pretty successful they try to buy 28 26 had more stops in the correct place legged out of it enter back at 22 and got a couple nice bounces off of it into the close right so for this example we using 30 40 as an entry so let's get a why are we choosing a hundred and sixty dollars first as <coughs> as my max drawdown for you? So let's go with the deviation calculation, which is really a volatility volatility calculation. You would see this is built from some internal stuff that really can't show you there. So it's a volatility cal volatility calculation. So right now my stops are stops be 8.25 points. We we'll see formulas within these stuff that have something to be where my deviation is this is self built. So don't ask me to give it. Won't be able to do that. It all right. So knowing that the max stop loss is eight points. So you see 8.25 for me. That's working wrong numbers. 8 points. Is my stop loss. So now we know a couple of things. We're using points instead of ticks. Ticks are too small for me to actually explain this. So it's $5 per point. And I have 8 points. So dollars point so I have dollars points how much that will be per point this could be equal to This is expressed in dollars. So risking forty dollars per contract. I have a hundred and sixty dollars. So no more than four active contracts. 
it's a 560 dollars because it's three days to take full losses on it so that is my mitigation rule one mitigation rule one is make sure you have three days of riskable capital risk capital to trade with at the beginning of any week just make sure you have that once you have that you should be able to trade where I trade contracts are like as follows so So you would see particular way I trade. So you know I use lagging entries, one in one or two out, two by ones most of the times. So how in a particular way you can trade this is you would see also uh, 0 0.75 is my TP set. TP set is 0.75 of my risk is my first exit on the trade. So how I trade it is two contracts by one contract or three contracts single entry now for simple for simple to simplify this a bit single contract simple entry so you enter in one position at one spot at one quote price three different contracts or as stop step as you could use it on your trade away at it at the same points so i will be showing it using uh, investing.com free stuff again charts to show you guys how what we mean by this so this is your first contract now I use hard stocks because I got time I trade all day so that is first contract here so we sell in at 50 40 see that see a profit level at six points with profit level so it is single entry multiple exit same eight points using point two five of deviation which is approximately ten points as your uh, secondary exit and this fair home run trade is one that I got today, two to one on your risk to reward, manageable all. To 16 points. So now note that I have 24 points of initial risk. I have one eight point stop loss or two four point stop loss. Or I could place as a secondary if my trade fails so this is a single entry here this is what your trade should look like on your bracket orders three points at a profit single entry one stop loss or all our hard stops manually trading so my maximum risk at this point if the trade fails is 24 ticks or 120 dollars so my initial risk is equal to a hundred and twenty dollars max risk is equal to a hundred and twenty dollars which is equal to $40 by three contracts which is equal to $120 so right so this is the secondary so what I mean by the secondary mitigation process is my max risk for the day is $160 so as I say 
if I need, if I get stopped out, maximum full stops at 8 points. And I want to end that trade, I always have one 8 point or two 4 point stop loss. Or as I could still place, I would only have maximum of three active contracts at any point on based on my starting system of where I have the tree where I have to have so my stops are based on the vol the volatility <coughs> of where you could reach making sure that you're behind certain nodes and this is a tree that I actually have one on the minis in particular in almost the same way just with two contracts that would like to trade three contracts overnight. Right, so I have $120 at risk at this point. Exit. So if TP1 fills, I roll my stops. So I'll be maximum at $120 at this point. If TP1 fills, my risk now becomes. And this is trying to gain positive expectancy in your account. In your trading style, especially. So if TP1 fails, now my risk becomes two contracts at $40, which is $80. My TP now would mean because I took six points a profit off the board. If that fails, I have six points of profit. I'll label in this as plus sixty dollars. So now this is mitigation and protecting what you got. So if my TP fills at sixty dollars. I have eighty dollars risk remaining. Now I need to reduce twenty dollars of risk total, meaning four points of risk total, which brings me the trailer stop. Six five thirty. So there's a risk mitigation. So right. So from <coughs> forty dollars I risk to thirty by two. It becomes sixty dollars. So I bank that profit. Now my max risk is at sixty dollars. What is my break even point? Is the question I have. Easy calculation. Break even point is minus six points. Three points from here. You make sure this is how I manage your risk. And once a secondary takes profit, you're closing off and roll. If the secondary take profit, close off two trades, you will gain $80 total. And you set the break even on the secondary, on the last trade. Or you can trail it manually going down using an 8 point manual trail. So that is simple basic way to enter a trade. One way to enter a trade it have many ways to skin a cat as we just say. <laughs> so the simple way of making sure that you take profit one hits. Rule your stops to appropriate levels. Nothing is hard and fast in trading. Make sure that you're protected. So myself for tonight is at forty. If you're interested, look at the battery plan outside. I post it up today. Um, had a pretty good day on this today. So now the reason is so we have easy build 
for how to execute you're looking at time now and how much time is with it so if you're looking at positive expectancy positive expectancy is how the market reacts how quick and how m <coughs> the stability of how your psychology is and how to trade and how not to trade where to trade lo your trade locations how to accept los losses when they happen so your psychology is your next half uh, so you can see today I tried to buy 20, 26 almost failed out know that I had one more contract in the bank and this is trading minis I had one more contract in the bank enter the trade got out of my two trades and break evens took a small profit got the retest on where I expected the market to come back to took small profit added back a second and hit the home run so it turned out to be a uh, pretty profitable day because I had a good day on oil last night a good start in trade on oil, missed the day trade today uh, oil. so we are looking to pay the 40s the 41s so I have a lag in entry 1 at 39, 1 at 41 uh, my actual entries that is something else for another day on how to attempt it so let's go to timelines now so if you're averaging 80 dollars per day that's one month should take you to actually achieve that so the cost of 110 is something that you should look at so it's 220 at four months well two months you should be able to achieve it if it's a stable profitable trader being a stable profitable trader is the most important thing equity management and deploying your equity and using proper risk management is very important in trading so for me to actually have a four contract it remember that number of 630 let's remember that number for me to deploy just to cover my margin requirement on the open market to cover those four contracts just to cover my margin is equal to this by this which is a $2,500 account I would need to just cover my margins and trade 4 contracts 3 hard and fast, 1 on the fly for live entries <coughs> using how I use my system, everybody has their own trading style some guys like to take their stops very tight I particularly don't like trading tight stops which is anything less than four point for me is a very tight stop I'm um, more or less a location trader look for location look for the market to be able to manage in and out of positions swing trade them and the micros affords me what is swing trade because I trade option came from my options background so trade options for a long while you know or see any of the previous videos that I did you, you would notice that I have I trade options and a couple stocks just a couple stocks that is more long term stuff don't touch funds trade crude every once in a while and I don't touch gold at all so that is more or less what I have for you for tonight if you have any questions you could put in your question in the comment section i'll try to answer them asap um, i don't think i'll be here next month need to work with those guys personally it'll take up a lot of my time and plus i would have my trading going on also so if you do see me pop in probably do a uh, trade plan every once in a while for the next day so i hope you guys trade small trade smart keep on the straight and narrow and have fun while you're trading, most important thing. Trading is a job, but make sure you have fun in between. I love video games, as everyone might know. I more or less cut out streams uh, and go and play video games in the middle of the day. And just monitor my market. Okay guys, um, hope you learned something and gained some ideas. Um, like, share, comment as per usual. Or dislike, unsubscribe. <laughs> not comment <laughs> um yeah so have a good one guys